Hello students, let us learn about what is law of demand in economics. Before getting into the topic, it is very elementary to know what is demand. To a layman, it is a desire or want which cannot be satisfied forever. According to Haig, the demand is defined as the demand backed by enough money to pay for the goods demanded. This means that the demand becomes effective only if it is backed by the purchasing power of the consumer. Thus, demand in economics means a desire backed by willingness to buy and purchasing power to pay. Now, the theory of law of demand. The law of demand is uh, based on certain assumptions. They are, number one, there is no change in consumer's taste and preferences. Number two, income should remain constant. Number three, prices of related goods should not change. Number four, there should be no close substitute for the goods. Number five, the demand for commodity should be continuous. Statement of law of demand. The law of demand states the relationship between the price and the quantity demanded of commodity assuming other factors that is price of related commodity, income of the consumer and taste and preference of the consumers to remain constant. According to Alfred Marshall, when other things remain constant, the amount demanded increases with the fall in price and diminishes with the rise in price. The law of demand can be explained by the demand schedule and demand curve. Here, the demand schedule lists the quantities of apples purchased by a consumer at different levels of prices. It can be clearly understood that when the price of apple falls from 4 rupees to 3 rupees, the consumer's demand for apple increases from 20 kgs to 30 kgs. But when the price of apple hikes from 3 rupees to 5 rupees, then he would tend to in, uh, decrease his demand from 30 kgs to 10 kgs. Thus, the demand curve is a downward sloping curve from left to right, indicating that there is an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded of apple. Hope the law of demand is clear to you now. Thank you, students.